Do you see it? Do you see it? Canva on the iPhone. Yes, Canva has an iPhone app yet now. They have beat PicMonkey. So here's my quick tutorial and first look at Canva for the iPhone. Okay, so I'm gonna start it up. This is my first impression. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. It is free, of course. I'm gonna log in with my Facebook. Cool, okay, so it's here. So I have um, Canva team. So I'm hoping my templates are in here, but let's see. So first of all, on the left, we have your designs. Yay, my designs are actually in here. Super juiced about that. So my designs are in here. The next one says Instagram. So I'm not sure if these are Instagram sizes that you just, okay, so yeah. So it's an Instagram size. Oh, okay. So I can replace the picture. I don't know what pictures I have in here. So let's just take, this was a selfie. I love my hair, so I took a selfie. And then I can actually say, selfie time. Okay, so it looks like I can change the text size. I'm using my finger to drag it. I wonder if I could change the picture. Um, so there's no filter. I could change the filter. Okay, so there's tons of filters. Of course, I like the pop, so I might keep that. Um, this is kind of nice too. So there's tons of filters in here. As you guys can see, it goes on and on. Oh, Callie. Um, you can see that there's ton of, tons of filter. I'm going to use this one. I can't really read. Let's see if I can see it. No, can't really read the name. There's advanced filters down here. Yay! So you can colorize it. For those of you that like to add tints, so you might want to add like a pink tint, right? Um, saturation, which we all love. Contrast, etc. So these are all the normal ones. Um, blur. So let's see how well the blur looks. So this is all the way down. This is all the way up. So this is great if you want to put blurred backgrounds. Um, I'm kind of excited about this. Okay, so then I can do, I can click on done. Um, I can share, let's see where I can share it to. Cool, so I'll save it to my phone for now. Click done. So the thing that I do notice is that I cannot move it to landscape, which is kind of awkward with these designs, but um, I'm going to see, it says Facebook. I'm wondering if it has like Facebook covers or just pictures. Let me just hold it down. I'm on an iPhone six. So it has the extra options, um, 3d touch. So it doesn't look like it has any information on it. These just look like social media squares. I can kind of tell, let me just look and see what other elements. So I'm going to go to elements. Oh, cool. So I can add, this is going to be a horrible picture, so don't judge me. Okay, I'll add the balloon. And I'm going to see, can I resize it? How do I resize it? So I'm going to click on it once, click on the dots. And I don't know if you guys saw that, so let me just click out of it. So each element has these little dots. Um, and I'm going to move my mouse so you can see right there. Move it out the way. Um, so if I click on the dots, that's where, ah, here, I'll use that one. Um, you'll actually be able to change the colors. This is so freaking cool. I'm so excited. Okay, so then I'm gonna hold down. The only thing is I can't move it. There it goes. It's not easy to move. I'm using my two fingers, just like you zoom in and zoom out, change the color, etc. Okay. Okay, so that's that layouts oh you can change the layouts that's cool so after you have your picture you can change the layouts i don't want to ruin this you could do extra pages i love that um just like the regular app and you could duplicate which is kind of cool so i'll do that and then this one i'll go to a different layout cool 
Um, and you, I can double click or click the little dots, but I'm gonna click on um, there. Then I'll click, click in the background, um, that little design, and I'm gonna change the color. This is super easy, you guys. And then of course, you know, you can replace the image. Um, I don't think I have any images of food, so I'm just gonna use one of these and then change the color a little bit. The only thing they don't have that I usually like is the warm versus cool. So, um, yeah, not loving that, but um, it's actually pretty good. Okay, so again, you can share. Um, there's an undo at the top. So that's super cool. And then there's text. Oh, yes, yes. So I'm going to put good vibes. You can switch it around, right? I click the little dot. I'm going to make this, let's see if black works good. Doesn't really, but that's the word we can use. I'm the color. And you can make it transparent. Um, there's spacing here. So you can do line height, all that kind of stuff. This is actually better than the actual app online because you can't really do too much. Um, yeah, bold. I wonder if they have bullets. They don't have bullets like they do online, but this is still good. You can choose fonts. So um, over here, you'll see that there's fonts there. So I can change the font. And there's tons of font. You guys, they just changed the game with this one. Super excited. That is horrible. Let's pick a good font. Okay, so there's pages here. You can actually move the pages. I just held my finger down and switched them. Um, I love that. I'm going to go back home. Notice that my designs are being saved. I have my selfie over here. There's dots at the top right hand corner. So I can make a copy, delete it. Basically what you can do on Canva online. I also want to show you if you go over to the right, everything is here you guys so blog graphs graphics sorry cards you can upload things directly to pinterest for those of you that are um doing my youtube challenge you can actually create your youtube channel art in here also so no excuses you can do everything from your phone um i'm super excited about this you guys i'm gonna go up to the settings and just see what's there there's get help and sign out so um the only thing that I don't see that I would love to do is to put my logo on here. So I'm trying to see, I'm going to go to elements and see, yeah, it doesn't look like I can put my own elements on here yet, which is disappointing, but um, I'm hoping it will come later. Okay, you guys, so that is my first look at Canva on the iPhone. I am super excited about this. Can't wait to see what else um, comes out of the Canva shop. For now, what I would love for you guys to do is tell me what your favorite feature of this new app is and how you're going to use it. Leave the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks.